Fox 16 Sports with Troy Leach. A million big ones is on the line, and that's all because the basketball tournament is back. Team Arkansas survived a first-round scare today against the Fort Worth Funk, a team that's mostly comprised of TCU players. Things got off to a great start for Arkansas. Jalen Barford, no. But Chris Coffey, yes. Always a good idea to start your highlights with some coffee. That's going to wake you up. Barford missed the second ago. He doesn't do that here. Deep three is good. He had 23 points on the night along with 12 boards. Time winding down in the second. Dusty Hannah's more like Dusty Handles. Uses some nifty moves to beat the buzzer. Team Arkansas up on the funk by 10 at halftime. However, the funk doesn't go away easy. Two-point game, so Barford does that. Tough step back puts Arkansas up by five in the third. Remember, it's first to 74 points. Team Arkansas four points away. Now so is fourth worth. J.D. Miller sinks a floater. We're tied at 70. Arkansas needs a three to win it. They give the ball to C.J. Jones, and he buries it. Jones silenced in the funk with the game winner. Final score 74 to 70. Team Arkansas moving on to the second round that'll be played on Sunday night. Oh, it's amazing. Uh, actually, the M MTSU team asked me to play with them, but I told them, nah, I wanted to come play with my team, Arkansas guys. I mean, I love these guys. Some of them, like my brothers, like Jalen Barford, Orlando Cook, Dustin Thomas, and Dusty Handler, we all played on the same team. So it's just a brotherhood when we all come around. So it's great. Just enjoy the moment. You know, uh, it's, it feel like the SEC, I mean, not the SEC, uh, NCAA tournament. So it's just, just enjoy the moment and uh, just play your game and don't worry about too much, uh, especially like CJ's his first time playing. And I'm glad he got a chance to um, get out there and show, showcase his talents. And that's what it's all about. And we are here to do that. We are pros. So you are going to go out there and play hard. Pretty good night for Jones. Couple of stats that I want to highlight. Barford with a big double-double tonight. However, the hero of the game, C.J. Jones, didn't miss a shot. A perfect six for six from the field and four for four from deep. That's big coming from the Arkansas and Middle Tennessee Tech alum. Round two is Sunday at 1 o'clock against the winner of Game 3 on ESPN. We have Diamond Hogs finally inking their deals with the teams that drafted them earlier this week. Former Hogs center fielder and 2021 All-American Christian Franklin making grabs like that. He officially signed with the Chicago Cubs today and he feels like this, I'm sure. The Cubs selected Franklin in the fourth round of this year's draft. He signed for $425,000, which is about $40,000 less than the slot value average for someone picked 123rd overall. Joining him will be the captain. Chicago selected Arkansas catcher Casey Opitz in the eighth round of the draft. Captain Arkansas signed with the Cubs for $90,000. The normal slot value for the 244th overall pick is $168,500. Lastly, he wasn't a Razorback. He was one of the best prospects in the draft. Conway High School alum Jordan Wicks was Chicago's first round pick. The Southpaw signed today for $3,132,300, which is a full slot value for the number 21 overall pick. The Arkansas native was the first Kansas State player to be taken in the first round of an MLB draft. Experts say he's got the best changeup in the draft and will most likely be the first pitcher to make the bigs. As these two teams are huffing and puffing out there, Portis, that's a three. All high school and Arkansas alum Bobby Portis helping the Milwaukee Bucks even the NBA Finals at two apiece against the Phoenix Suns. So far in the finals, the center is coming off the bench averaging 14 and a half minutes, four points and four and a half rebounds a game. Earlier today, he told us that his role heading back to Phoenix for game five is to be more of a forceful and energetic role player. However, in his press conference today, he spoke about how his relationship with Arkansas legend NBA forward Corliss Williamson helped develop his game when he was younger and even now. It meant the world to me of just being able to, you know, go to an NBA player's house and see all the things they have, um, you know, all the, all the awards he won in college. Like, I wanted to be just like him. Um, you know, I wanted to go to Arkansas. I wanted to win player of the year. I wanted to get drafted to the, to the NBA. You know, I wanted all those things for my family as well. Uh, I think it was more motivational for me um, just being around and being able to see, you know, all the things that he worked so hard for. Um, and I see what hard work can do for a person, and um, I just kind of took it and ran with it. Uh, it, was a, it was a blessing for me, man, for sure.
Iron sharpens iron, and Arkansas players also sharpening other Arkansas players. It's fun to see. Game 5 is tomorrow at 8 p.m. on ABC. That's it for sports right now. We go. We'll be right back after the break.